We have around 1,500 miles of main infrastructure for water. It could be gravity main collections as well as force main, pressurized mains, and reclaimed mains or reefs. Our oldest infrastructure in the system dates back to the early 50s that we have on file. So it's really important for us to start capturing that and begin rehabilitation projects for the existing infrastructure. The field staff, were they were actually doing inspections via paper. So they would have a little tablet that would have pre-printed fields on it and they would just go in and handwrite all those in. It was not anything that would be done quickly. And often things would get missed or you wouldn't find out about it until months or years later. Using Cartograph, we're able to bring it to the attention of management a lot sooner. It has allowed us to be more efficient at what we're doing. We were able to save time with not only our hydrant inspections, but as well as our gravity main inspections, our manhole inspections, and our lift station inspections. We're able to capture the total cost for the project, the remaining balance, and other perimeters that we've defined in there. When we first began with our lift stations, they were averaging about 20 minutes plus on their checks. So we deployed Cartograph 1 to that crew, and now they're under 10 minutes on average per check. As the staff comes across the issue to make a task, the software will do it for them. We have over 170 lift stations. Your time is of the essence. When we wanted to make sure we had an application that was quick for them to go get out of their truck, collect their readings, and then move on to the next. We also have our sanitary and sewer inspectors. As they're running the camera through noting observations in the software on the same main, click check boxes in the inspection to note the deficiencies, and then they'll close out and save, and then the automation manager will, will actually make the task for them. We've got a five-star rating. We'll rate them, take pictures, and it'll create task work orders. And then the guys will go out and fix them. And then we have the office staff that evaluates the work as it comes in on a daily basis and then we'll determine is that going to be for a contractor or will we handle that in-house. We even use it to track all of our infrastructure for rehab for our contractors to be able to pull that work out of Cartograph and to be able to put it together and present to them to go out and make those repairs. We like the connection between Cartograph and Esri. It's very important for us. I can have a two-way data lane for both GIS and Cartograph. Once a certain type of activity is created in the system, it can actually deactivate the asset on our GIS side, which will then show up on our public-facing GIS. Now, if we have a hydrant that is out of service or poses a safety issue, we use the automation manager to disable those features so they will show up separately. And if we have any repairs that need to be done on the fire hydrant, we note it in Cartograph. And there we can detail the work out to other employees to get the fire hydrant up and running at full capacity. If it pinpoints exactly where it is, and if there's a structure or debris in the way, you know the hydrant's there. Once you flush the fire hydrant, it checks it off automatically. It lets the system know it's been flushed and taken care of. We would have to notify five different people and tell all five people what was wrong with the fire hydrant and bag it, and then we would notify the fire department. Whereas now, we just hit bagged and it automatically goes to the office, and one person handles that and sends it straight to the fire department. If there's a big push in the state of Florida with sanitary sewer overflows. They want utilities and municipalities operating on a more proactive basis. And when you look at our performance, we handle roughly 4.5, 4.6 billion gallons of raw sewage a year. We were 99.9996% successful in handling and transmitting and processing that sanitary sewer. I would challenge any industry to have those kind of performance numbers. We've built a two-layer component relationship with the treatment plant site the buildings and now we're adding the, the structure or the treatment components so the things that fall within the building so that way we're empowering them and showing them how to use the software to add their own children asset that they can maintain this could be equipment that's important to the preventative maintenance because the biochem treatment building for one could have hundreds of components that could fall within there that are very important to the operations of it as well as the big biological treatment units. They have different components that are important to the life cycle of the assets. So we want to capture that, show the staff how to use it, and to manage the system on their own. 
you're touching data one time by entering it and then it's available for all. Then we can do the analytics from a consequence of failure standpoint to plan our work in the work ordering system that's helping communication up and down the chain of command. So staff knows what they're supposed to be doing, when they're supposed to be doing it. And it's helping a transparency and accountability standpoint that previously didn't exist under the paper-based and spreadsheet systems. It allows you to do everything you need to do, whether that's your operations and maintenance of your assets, capturing the data in the field real time, and it's very flexible for your crews. We can show a customer this is what it looks like now, what, what it looked like before. We know that we're not going over a cost of a job. It's simple to use, it's readily available. All you have to do is have your phone or iPad and it's right there with you. We have a very unique opportunity with the growth that's coming, with the forethought that was put forward into our reclaimed water system and in our advanced treatment systems, that we can take that to a new level to put CCUA in a, a sustainable model from the economics and the environmental sustainability. Potable water is, is a finite resource, so it's up to the utility to, you know, one, provide a good quality product, but as well as protect and conserve. CCUA is about conservation, commitment, and community.